I have started the recording, and that marks the official beginning of the results for Slider Velocity Showdown Round 2. So we're going to be streaming the top 15 entries. Uh, unfortunately, that cuts out two, uh, the bottom two maps, uh, but that's just in the interest of time, that was uh, the executive decision that had to be made. So there were 17 entries, uh, however, there are only 15 places, uh, meaning that there are two ties this round. So we're going to start in 13th place with... Uh, I gotta pull up the replay. I'm double checking, I have the right thing. I mapped all the entries. Yeah. Damn, Alright, that's a lot of work. Anything about the titles, or else the replays won't work. <laughs> yeah, guys, on um, Sedera, Master Terra mapped all the entries and played them. Alright, so this is 13th place. It's Raise the Black Flag. Uh, by Anonymous. And all of these replays Reminder, are yeah, by Mew, yeah. so big, big, big ups to him. Actual, like, insane masterpiece of a, of a player. That's, I'm gonna move you guys over here. That's how I spent my Mondays. It was a dark and stormy night. Alright, I'll skip the intro. <laughs> now this one is a little bit all over the place. in terms of difficulty and right off the bat this is probably the only map that has a gimmick which i didn't understand no matter how much i looked at it because towards the middle of the map there's a complete memorization part there's no indicators for the notes whatsoever and i've searched the entire map but i couldn't find any hints as to what you actually need to play so as far as i'm concerned it's yeah, Mew, you're a little bit quiet. Can you move closer to your mic? <laughs> it begins. I'll put it. Mind. Just put it in your mouth. <laughs> Is it better now? Hey, let's see. And I, ca I can always turn the uh, music volume down. Yeah, why don't you talk over the map for a bit while I'm fixing my stuff? Yeah, no problem. And so, uh, this is, uh, yeah, 13th place, like we said, and I don't know, for 13th place, it's quite alright, in my opinion. Uh, it's not, <laughs> you know, like, unplayable, although those finishers uh, in the mono streams are kind of ugh, you know? Well, those preferences, I guess. Mm -hmm. Someone is going to be able to hit them. Yeah, someone is. It's not very fast, so you should be fine. Skill issue, well, this, perhaps. This map is either single taps or 290 EPM streams. There's mm -hmm. no in between. And uh, that memorization part's coming up, right? Yeah, that's it's uh, like there's no build up, nothing. It's just. Yeah, there were a few maps that did have like memorization and. All right, you... watch this. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Uh -huh. No indication, no nothing. Oh, uh, rough. Well, the one Skill thing I did issue. notice is that um, that same part is also towards the beginning of the song, but it's not mapped in the same way in both times, so you can't even memorize it. Uh, oh, man. So you well, you still did. Kind of a... Yeah, but you have to. Yeah. Yeah. You, you still went through the effort <laughs> of memorizing it. Yeah, he still got it. Yeah. But uh. Yeah. And people are supposed to get against you in Taiko World Cup, dude. Come on. <laughs> this ain't fair. Ban the gimmick. Ban it. <laughs> yeah. Simply know it. Like it's literally simply, the music. Yeah. <laughs> Brain issue, my bad. Uh, but honestly, I think this map would have scored a lot higher if, uh, maybe not a lot higher, but definitely not 13th if, uh, those hidden notes weren't there. Just in the future, 
put an indication, you know, uh, or like yeah, uh, bar lines or something. I feel like it, it could have, it, it did have a lot of room to flesh out some of the, you know, gimmicks. Definitely. The thing is, even if that part was somehow indicated in the map, there's also the ending, which is 100% random. Like, just when you <laughs> thought you made it to the map, there's a few more ghost notes right at the end. Yeah. And by all means, if there's if there's a way to tell them like to know what they are just be playing the map, let me know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's let's go. Completely random. There's no indications whatsoever. Look at that act, though. Look at that act, though. All right, and we are going to be swiftly moving into 12th place uh, with, uh, let me find it. This map, there we go. Mafalda. The Mafalda map, the perfect, uh, <laughs> the perfect score for Mew. Let's see what it looks like. Here we go. Again, please let me know what this is supposed to achieve, because I'm not seeing it. It looks cool. <laughs> I mean, the slide is really I mean, yeah. Yes, this is H3 of Charles's map. And yeah, it's a, it's a very easy map. But I, from what I remember, uh, playing through the entries, it was just kind of basic, and that's why a lot of the judges didn't give it very high points. I did notice that, Charles. I did see the SVS slider. But, <laughs> like, yeah, the SVS you slider is cool. Anything with those, you could have just done anything with those sliders. Yeah, you were so close to doing a gimmick that uh, really impressed some of the judges uh, that you'll be seeing later. And I think, I think a downfall to a lot of these maps is that the songs are just too long, and uh, they ran out of ideas, and so it kind of it kind of drags on. Uh, a lot of these lower entries are uh, long songs. I mean, to be fair, you can only introduce the same thing in a newer way, just like a limited amount of times. Eventually, it is going to be calm. This entry is 12th place, heavy, yes, out of 17 maps. Don't worry about it. There's actually a pretty cool build up coming up. Which is definitely the highlight of the map. <laughs> Ooh, cool yellow notes. Yeah. That part is pretty neat, I gotta say. <laughs> that alone scored probably the majority of the points for this entry. Also, I'm, I'm pretty certain that you misplaced some of the SVs, some of the green lines, maybe due to rounding errors, so just be sure to always double check those. Yeah. Because there's some nasty overlaps. I always check your entries. Anyways, that, that, that's, that's it. it. That yeah, is that's it. it. Yeah, the song we die out with some. He's still freestyling on the slider notes. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> All right, so that was 12th place. Thank you, 12th place. Moving into 11th, we are going to be playing. Ooh, boy. Here we go. It's mystery <laughs> time. So this, uh, yeah. <laughs> this, this entrant <laughs> made a custom background. It says slider velocity showdown round two. Unless you didn't take part in round one, then it's basically, or unless you didn't take part in the first one, I think, uh, then it's basically round one, and everyone's really happy because it is, uh, <laughs> because uh, this entry got 11th. God, <laughs> Let's I love how the, it. Fuck, the fucking steep dude is copy pasted. Yeah. <laughs> I think people, oh, yeah. I think most points here came from it just being uh, kind of fun to play. It's not a bad map, if I remember. No, 
it's all right for what it was trying to achieve. <laughs> it's just that not a lot is going on. All things considered. Yeah, it's a very basic map. But I mean, how could you not have a good time with this song playing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's got it, it's got the spirit, you know. Can Another thing I noticed is that some of the MP3s, a lot of them were actually really quiet for some reason, and this was one of them. That's something that you're gonna notice even towards the uh, top five. Even there's some really quiet MP3s. Yeah, it's hard to hear the music because it's so <laughs> quiet. They got some barline gimmicks, they're not the most perfect gimmicks, but they're there. God, they sound so fun. What, what's that cat doing? <laughs> it's kinda wonky now. It is kinda wonky. I could use a little bit of polishing, but the concepts are there and it's not a pain in the Great ass to play. Choice. Oh, we got shiny oh. notes. And that uh, cat finisher is gone. Yep, and Bye. now it's gone. Where was it? <laughs> <laughs> this actually has a really similar ending to Raise the Black Flag, but this one you can actually tell what the notes are. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, I don't know why the bar lines are misaligned here. Funny bar lines. <laughs> All right, that was our eleventh place entry. Thank you, eleventh place. Crazy. Yeah, nothing Pretty crazy. Sorry, but the song's kind of, kind of crazy, kind of, you know, wonky. Song's very basic. <laughs> uh, so we are moving to. Oh yeah, there's a <laughs> there's SVs at the bottom. Oh, look at that! It is. Oh shit. So we are moving into the top ten uh, in quotations because I think there's actually twelve maps in the top ten. <laughs> don't 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 ask. Um, so starting <laughs> starting off the top ten with Axiom Crisis. Let's check it out. I'm gonna be real, I do not uh, remember this entry at all. I, I don't know what's in this entry, and... Um, <laughs> it's basically, I, I, I can have a guess as to why you forgot about it. It's um, safe for like two farline shenanigan thingies, it's SV only. Alright, a rankable map, an almost rankable map. But it's done well. Which means... And if it's so high up, it's because it must be really well mapped. Yeah, yeah. It what? is compensating in other departments. Yes. But, I mean, the, the bar is raised for this contest, if you couldn't tell. Uh, I think the lower ranks for this contest are a lot better than uh, they were in the last contest. Yeah, definitely. Because if this was submitted to last, I think it would have gotten, like, top seven, top six, maybe. Top five might be a stretch, but it's definitely solid and it's definitely thought out, but so is like every other map in the contest. <laughs> so it's hard to place it, it higher. Definitely, it definitely scored a lot of points in the enjoyability department. Yeah, I should actually be. Look, there's a slowdown. That caught me off guard. I totally forgot about it. Very nice. Yeah, so this map, it looks like scored pretty high in, yeah, execution and enjoyability, but pretty much everyone gave it very low uh, innovation score, for obvious reasons. Uh, this is top 10, but it, there's 12 maps in the top 10, so you decide whether or not it's actually top 10. <laughs> mm. It's complicated. It's complicated. Uh, and you'll you'll see why very soon. It's just always hard justifying 
by uh, giving an SD only map with a really high score and execution, even if it's done really well. There's other people who've done way more demanding things mm -hmm. just as Indeed. well. Indeed. So like, you kind of have to limit yourself. It also comes well, down to yes. song choice uh, to a certain degree. Uh, yeah, at the end of the day, it's a competition. It, there's a lot of people there. Yeah. A lot of people are working hard on their entries. So, yeah. What, I matters, mean, is, what matters is that you are proud of your creation. Uh, a very clean map, nonetheless. Like, regardless yes. of placing, all of these maps are the clean. The if you want to rank it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the beep beep bar lines. All right. And with that, we move into our first tie in ninth place. Oh boy! And Ties in <laughs> SVS. Yes. Who could have expected that? Who could have expected that? And even down to the decimals? <laughs> no way! Even this down has to never the decimals. Before. That's crazy. And so we're gonna start with Idora tries boy. world. Oh, this one. I yes. I have a good guess as to as to why this didn't score as high as it could have. And uh, if you pay attention to the bottom right corner of the screen, that might be an indication. Yes. <laughs> uh, it was rated the most poorly, I think, in enjoyability. It looks like kind of across the board, enjoyability was the lowest score. Uh, this intro is sick, by the way. Simply because it is a little bit difficult to enjoy the map. Run. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and obviously, my computer is not having a lot of it either. <laughs> yeah, it's, fun, it's funny enough. how, yeah. And there are some uh, hidden notes, unfortunately. I don't know if that's intentional, but when I, I was playing through it, it was kind of annoying. <laughs> At least uh, when it. Uh, in that beginning stage, it was kind of uh, unpredictable. Yeah, just as a PSA, if you want to make online gimmicks, the higher the higher BPM you use, the more the map usually tends to lag. So if you don't go up to a million. Yeah. Sixty thousand would be just fine. Yeah, this map mm -hmm. used a million BPM, which isn't isn't uh, necessary. Yeah, I kind of like this section. It's cute. Lines are way beyond like 600,000 BPM, and most just can't handle it. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of bar line gimmicks. <laughs> it's a ton of gimmicks. This thing is really packed, but uh, unfortunately, the contest is not who can have the most gimmicks, it's who can do it the best. So, didn't place as high as uh, who has the better computer? My... Yeah, for real. I do not, I guarantee you. <laughs> I mean, Mew must certainly have some kind of beast because he's getting amazing act at this. Oh, as well. no, I don't. Oh, it looks like we're down to <laughs> below 10 milliseconds. <laughs> I'm actually surprised you can't tell the shiny guns and shiny cats apart on your skin. Yeah, they're, uh, it's semi transparent. And for some reason, that fucks it up. <laughs> I just played the map with um, 12 of SF but... Pay to now. win, man. <laughs> yeah, pay to win. But yeah, later on in the map, it gets kind of bearable, I think. <laughs> like, we're under 10 milliseconds now, which is, I don't know, kind of fine. Another way to work around it is um, what map that is going to be towards the top, I reckon. Um, what they did is they just limited themselves to really high BPM gimmicks in the intro and then never use it again for the rest of the map. Yeah. Which is which is a really nice idea because when the gimmick is, um, when it's over, the map goes back to normal pretty much. As yeah. you can see here, the BMS just gradually decreases as the <laughs> gimmicks pass. We got some shaky line action going on, looking nice. A lot of detail in that. I like that one. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> SVS cores. <laughs> Optimized for Osu gimmick map. <laughs> Oh, because he decided that not to do that last one. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that is the first. That's the first map in the tie for ninth, and the second map in this tie is 19ZZ by Frums. So another hundred percent. Uh, let's see what's up. Because that's freaking the fuck out right this. now. <laughs> it's not even the gimmicks, it's just the front snappings. Mm -hmm. From what I remember, this map doesn't have that many gimmicks. Most of it is as new. Oh yeah, dude, this is... <clears throat> yeah. It looks like the lowest score, yeah, it was in Innovation, so... It does have gimmicks, but it looks like most of the judges weren't too, uh, I don't know, impressed with it. I don't want to say impressed, because it is good, but it's not new, I guess. So this part is basically mirror patterns. You get introduced to the pattern, and then it just uh, flips between the pattern and its mirror version. Yeah, there there is come memorization in this map, if I remember, with these one six <laughs> getting kinda Not wild. Because it's always the same pattern. It's like a KDDK and then the next iteration is a DK KD. This is an interesting effect. Uh, some emphasis on the bar lines. <laughs> Uh, we, lo we love to see bar line emphasis. Yeah, amazing work still. Like, it's actually baffling to see how much progress like this entire contest and all of its uh, entrants have made. There's little key eye flashes in this section. Uh, you can barely see them because of my skin, but they're there. Those thick bar lines a section ago, they might not seem like much at first, but they really add to the experience when you're playing the map itself. Yeah, is there any normal bar line in this map? <laughs> oh, there's one. Uh, yeah, there is. I just saw one. <laughs> oh, there's one. We found oh, it. It's fun. It's fun. Right. found it. The finisher sections. We'll get back to that thought, <laughs> like, five entries from now. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then a few more one thirds just to make you miss. I mean, if you're at this point with a full combo, I, you know, I'd be nervous as fuck. <laughs> yeah, 100%ing it. Alright. So that concludes our tie for ninth place. Moving into eighth place, uh, we are we go. going to be looking at. Man, the names on replays are so scuffed. <laughs> I can't read them. Okay. It's this one. True. Be With oh You boy. by F. Rabbit. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Huh? So right off, we see some zero BPM notes. I wonder where those are going to show up. Yeah, we love to see zero BPM notes. <laughs> I can tell you when they're gonna show up. At the end, with no indication. Oh just no. Just like raise the black flag. And that's why I deducted like, at least a point in every single category, because it was such a fine map until then. And that was just unnecessary. Yeah, we got some, we got some ballsy gimmicks with the slider, or with the spinners. Ballsy. So ballsy gimmicks, and this is a ballsy map. This is a quite a ballsy map. Scores were all over the place. I don't think there wasn't a consistent, or I don't think there was a consistent category that everyone kind of agreed. It was just uh, not... all mid, I guess. These sections are pretty good. Yeah, Yuki, <laughs> Yuki type V. 
Uh, <laughs> also, isn't F. Rabby oh, a featured artist? So uh, maybe bonus uh, points. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not keeping up with the featured artist news, dude. <laughs> yeah, true. I I'm pretty sure F. Rabby is a featured artist, but not like we care. Okay. Uh, um... <laughs> This isn't this isn't uh, featured artist cup. <laughs> this is one of those good examples where you know song choice really shines. Yeah. You know? And also uh, a very important thing to note when you're using uh, spinner gimmicks like that is to put plenty of alternating notes because that's how you hit spinners. And so I'm pretty sure this map did it correctly. Uh, but yeah, if you put like a spinner and then a pattern that's just monos after it, it you can't hit the spinner. <laughs> Well, it did it two times, and one of those was correct, the other one was Ah, uh, yeah, so they figured it out. You right. actually have to play it manually. We got some shiny notes that you like can red. see right through. Ah, there we are. Yeah, wh what's the point of that? <laughs> Please, enlighten me. I think it's uh, the, the emphasis is just like... I don't know. Maybe just they like the notes ways to map being the vocals. there. Yeah. It's probably isolation of the vocals. <laughs> All right. So a little bit uh, how to introduce, especially when it's right at the end of the map. Yeah, I never use zero BPM in any gimmick maps because you you can't introduce it. It's impossible unless it's like incredibly obvious, like, like what it is. Then I never use zero yeah. BPM notes at the beginning uh, anywhere in the map because it, they just like my fucking computer. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. Uh, thank you, uh, whoever mapped this. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we will move on to seventh place, and in seventh place, oh, we God. have. Oh, let's go! Bonga, bonga, bonga! Null control by Silent Room. So this map excited me because I like Silent Room, and this is something that I've I've always wanted to map, but like, I knew it wasn't going to be rankable. <laughs> This felt a lot like, um, what was the map, what was Seth's map called from last round? Oh, I don't know. I don't uh, know why it would feel like, <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why you would say that. <laughs> Damn. Uh, what a, what a way to go, dude. I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think it feels anything like Seth's map from last round. <laughs> I guess it's just the vibe that the song gives that's off so to cool. me. Yeah, that's clean. Yeah, the, this map is, in quotation marks, only aesthetic bar lines, but they're done so well. They are done very well. That, um, yeah. Yeah. But uh, oh, Zet's, Zet's map from last, uh, it was the one, it was like, it was the fuck one. The one with a lot of fuck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, get fucked up. Fucked up. Yeah. I, I don't know if I will go as far as calling this a uh, gaming map, but it's certainly a, an amazing map. It's a good looking Just map, a, yeah. Yeah. I think everyone agreed that it was a that the execution was really good. Uh, I think this one fell a little bit on innovation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> the thing is, if you just took the lines out of this, you could rank it as is. Yeah, yeah. literally, this is one of those. Yeah, this map got two tens, two perfect scores in uh, execution. So, there you go. Great, great job, mapper. We don't know who you are. <laughs> yeah, good job, whoever whoever mapped this. It map this. might forever stay a mystery. Great song choice. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, this is number seven, right? This is uh, number seven, yeah. Yeah. Well... The fact that this is number seven <laughs> is extremely telling of the amount of quality, work, and, you know, it's the It's the eighth map, but it's seventh place. Uh. <laughs> yeah, oh god. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> like I was saying, this just goes out to tell that, you know, uh, we got even some if things it's to like look to. <laughs> seventh place, this is amazing. It's this is absolutely riveting. Yeah, the maps get better as you go up uh, in the ranking. 
All right, and speaking of going up in the ranking, we're going to oh, sixth no. place. I'm, I'm not ready for this one. With ah, turn ah. Let's go. I suggest you guys I turn up your volumes. Oh, this is kind of wild. Don't oh, miss the intro. I will. Oh, I will turn up the music. Don't worry. We'll go 100%. You, you should probably ignore the beatmap skin or turn that off. I mean, you might want to restart the map. All right, I'll restart the map. Oh no, you yep, can yep. see everything. <laughs> All right. Pay close attention to the intro because it's by far the hardest part and also the coolest looking. There we go. It's pseudo hidden, yeah, yeah. but the spider. It's so sick, but it's so hard, man. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not hard for you, but for me, it's hard. <laughs> and he's got some crazy uh, BPM key eye flash Wait. thing going on here. You mean to tell me that you tried to play this? Yes, I, I played yeah, every I map. I just jumped straight to Aldo, yeah. Oh no. Uh, but again, if you look at the bottom left or bottom right corner, we are <laughs> we are getting kind of crazy. I'm surprised this didn't rank higher, in all honesty, because visually... Those, those are so cool, man. Insane. I love those. And this is also one of the few times that I've seen inverted bar lines in there coming up in just a second here. Oh, yes. That's Some bar... bar lines. Check this and out. there's the inverted ones. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. Dude. Inverted <laughs> oh, bar line God. gimmick. Yeah, I've never seen this before. This is visually the most impressive map by a long shot, in my opinion. Really? It is. Yes. It All is right. quite visually striking, I'd say. Like, I remember the, you know, before all the masks were sent to the Duchess, Nifty sent me this map and was like, Holy shit, you need to it's, look at this. It's very nice. It was one of the yeah. first maps that was entered, and uh, I won't leak the creator, but they've been making gimmick maps for a while, uh, so they've really had time to refine, you know, what looks good and what doesn't look good, and I think they might even have a program that can make gimmicks, like stuff like that right there, because uh, I looked in the editor, and that's nothing fancy. It's literally just like a hundred... Uh, sliders <laughs> with like different BPMs <laughs> and different lengths and stuff. So Absolutely. that was our that Just, was our sixth place. <laughs> yeah. Genius, genius map, genius map. And honestly, this might upset some people. This might create some drama. <laughs> we might see some drama in SVS. Oh God! Uh, because after this map uh, is going to be in fifth place. Top five, my dudes. Top five. Boom. Well, top five in quotations. I mean, <laughs> there's six top maps. Five. <laughs> I mean, trampoline. Uh, here we are. It's trampoline by KKB. Uh, the hands down cutest map in the pool. <laughs> yes. And let's find out the why. Cutest the cutest map. I think. I think this might have gotten placed a bit higher than it deserves. <laughs> If I ha if I were no. to have a say in it, just because it's, it's cute, a map. it's such a feel good map. It's such a feel good have, map. Have you, but have you played it? <laughs> I have, yes, I played it a few times. This and this. Did you <laughs> get second of it? I did, yes, <laughs> but but like whatever. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, yeah. man, this was the map I could play. That I can I could play this. I was so happy. Oh, good job. I actually uses. And this person submitted like four times, so I had to re-download it like... Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know why it's not automatically turned off. No, you might leaking! Wanna, you, you might want to do that for all of the remaining maps. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will, I will, <laughs> I will. I thought it's automatically turned off. Alright. Close your eyes. It's turned off automatically in the editor, but... I guess it's not turned off automatically. Close your eyes! <laughs> yeah, close your eyes, guys. Don't worry Pretty about good. it. Alright. We're a professional organization. Good thing it's good thing everybody likes KKB, so we can listen to the intro again. 
just as a heads up, I don't know the rankings either. So this yeah. is just as much of a surprise to me as it is to Mew, guys. Mew doesn't know what the top five yeah. are. It's only me and Axer, so he's a judge. He doesn't get the scores. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it adds to the surprise, I guess. It does. The AI is so bouncy. It is very bouncy. Like, I didn't know that you could capture the spirit of a country <laughs> in a Tycho map, but you, you did it somehow. You somehow, they did it. I did it? Oh my god. <laughs> this is my map. We are all, we're all partying now. <laughs> By the way, have you have you ever played Pong in Psycho? Pong? Now you have. <laughs> oh god, yeah. We bouncing. <laughs> Dude, that is <laughs> very cute. It is very cute. <laughs> so dope as well. Yeah. So creative. And like, I'm not even mad that it's just the same thing, like, three times. <laughs> well, it, I mean, it's, it's, it gradually adds to yeah. itself. Oh yeah, true, true, true. I forgot about that. <laughs> Dude, mega fan every time we move one up in the rankings. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you don't even know what's just coming next. Way, How can it get way. better than this? Oh man. Man. Just you wait. Just wait, man. I can tell you that this is for so many creative maps. I, I'm like, my ego has been completely destroyed at this point. <laughs> like, how can I compete, dude? Yes. Uh, I mean, I can't compete. I'm host, but if I were to compete, how could I compete? Yeah, true. And uh, I really like this part of the slides obstructing the lines. Okay. That's okay. Bow, 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 bow. It's so easy. I mean, the gimmick is really easy to execute. It's just negative length sliders. This uh, memorized but... part kind of catches you off guard, by the way. Sorry for interrupting, but this is kind of. I, I like it. <laughs> Uh, after this, I'm gonna go to my options and see if I can turn off uh, beat map skin. Ignore beat map skin. <laughs> yeah, these the are shiny notes. There. Yeah. These are shiny just notes, so it's just a slider on top of a note, a zero length slider on top of a note. And so when the key eye is on, they look white. And the trick to reading them is that the cats are wider than the uh, dons, so... I guess it really all comes comes down to this is such a cute map. Quite. Your skin's poopy for gimmick maps. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to my options real quick. Uh, skin... There we go. All right. We should be good from now on. And that was trampoline. That was fifth place. And at this point, all bets we are, are now. <laughs> we are now back in the <laughs> We're tie now zone. Still in the top five. We are still in the top five technically, but in a tie for fourth place. <laughs> Do not look at Nifty's accuracy, please. At, in a tie for fourth place. We have a. Uh, I just want to make sure uh, the people who are here are the ones that need to be here, uh, because you know what, you know what, I'll just play it. Uh, in fourth place, tie for fourth place, we have NATO Gekka. And uh, another replay by me. This player must be really good. This player must be really good. There is a. Heard of them. I've skipped it. Alright, so, yes, this is, uh, 
this is Cookie Tree's map, as he indicated. So, barely, barely not top three, unfortunately. Uh, and Where to start with this one? <laughs> for There's for me, layers of gimmicks to this. there are a lot of gimmicks. Yes, I think it might have been song choice. Like that made him not be top three. If I'm being completely honest, <laughs> and it also song like this well. yeah, and also the uh, the memorization part kind of doesn't flow very well. At least in my experience, when I was playing it, it didn't flow very well into some of the patterns that were being used. That's the only thing that made me kind of not want to play it. But other than that, it's really clean, and I like the idea of having all those bar lines there. Whenever there was a note on the blue tick right after the memorization pattern, it didn't flow all that well. I have to agree with you on that. Yeah. Because it's like the memorization, you kind of want to start, you kind of want to play the same exact way. Yeah. Some bar line boys. This is the prettiest break you'll ever see, by the way. This is the best part of the map. <laughs> this is where a lot of effort went. <laughs> Just... God, man. Good. How can you compete? That's crazy. Absolutely insane. <laughs> and of course, of course it comes back. It would be cooler if that was memorization, but, you know. This has the cleanest execution of any repeat gimmick I've ever seen, by the way, and it's coming up right now. Yeah. It gives you so much time to prepare, the pattern is so intuitive. It's such a joy to play. Here it comes. Nah. God, it's so clean. Yeah, it's... Very clean. Masterclass, even, I'd say. Absolute masterclass of how to pull it off. It's a good song for it, yeah. A lot of, with a lot of gimmicks you don't, or you're not given enough time to properly prepare. This mm -hmm. one, like, it has everything. Yeah, and it's very good, uh, it's a very good sign, and I think this is why it's so high, that there's new gimmicks being introduced even more than halfway through the song. And it's not just repeating the same things from earlier. And this is where the map gets unplayable for me because I can't read shiny notes. <laughs> I really like the idea, it's just that in the second half of the TI when there's shiny notes and then the ones with the slider fading in on top of that, it gets a little flutter in my opinion. Yeah, for some reason these shiny notes look different. Uh, I don't know if he just used a different amount of sliders on the cats. Or if, like, and it's my skin or something, but... No, it's the fact that the sliders have higher speed than the, than the notes themselves, so they fade in. There's actually... create some sort of 3D effect. Yeah, maybe a cookie can enlighten us on a, a technique. Yeah, there we go, that's exactly what I said. Perfect. Uh, there is third oh, place. I'm... There's first, second, third, and then there's a tie for fourth. And this is the first map in that tie for fourth. I'm just gonna take this last bit of map to, you know, praise a little, you know, of Cookie Tree's absolute, you know, riveting progress when it comes to mapping. Because I remember seeing uh, Cookie Tree rank his first map. I will, I will have never thought that he will, you know, become such a, and such an amazing gaming mapper. Like, this is completely beyond any of the, like, even the wildest expectations I could have. Yeah, it's definitely a step up from his last entry, and that won last, <laughs> last round, so... <laughs> yeah. But, unfortunately, did not win this round, uh, which kind of makes some hype for the top three. Uh, and hype for the map that tied with it. And that map is... <laughs> yes. So this is insane because Cookie and uh, 
the person who made this map were talking in the Discord, and they were like, huh, I wonder if our maps would tie. That would be crazy if we tied. <laughs> and they were just going yeah. on and on about how they tied, and I was yeah. like, holy shit, did, did the scores leak? <laughs> So, uh, I'm not gonna say their name, but if you know, you know. <laughs> so, yes, this is the tie for fourth. If you know Clowncore at all, you know just how perfectly this map captures the spirit of the group. With the unpredictable snappings and the chaos and Yes. Like, watch this part. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> troll bar lines, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the bar lines here are dumb so They easy. are dumb silly. But they have a pattern to them, which is I, what I love about them. I think that this map might have had them largest spread of uh, enjoyability <laughs> like no, no. like some people gave it like four some people gave it like nine <laughs> clown business I yes. can say it's a very polarizing very polarizing map the highlight of this map has to be the outro which is one of the most creative gimmicks I've seen in a long time. Wow, high praise, high praise in a gimmick mapping contest. <laughs> My guy is asking me, how did you FC with Scarby one? Because he's me. Um, it took me I am like, proud. The ending did take me quite a few tries because it's a little clunky to hit, but I don't think there's any other way to make it work. So I don't hold that against you. Oh my god. Alright, here Jesus it comes. Jesus fucking Christ. Yep. Now, that's impressive all by itself, right? But once you notice that the bar line going from right to left indicates when you have to hit the notes, that's when you realize just how serious <laughs> this part is. Is, is, there's a lot of thought put into it, I do agree. And, uh, I think this part is what lowered the score for some judges because the uh, beginning is so m difficult to hit. The problem is that if you hit the notes early, you'll hit the slider before the note because they're um, placed so close to, e uh, to each other. So no, it's, late, it's, not it's not an edited replay, dude. <laughs> It's just is new. this edited replay? <laughs> no, this yeah, is this I is Tycho wish. in the three digits. I, w I was about to say top 100, but he's not even top 100. <laughs> what the fuck? Not anymore. <laughs> not yeah, anymore. about that. Former um... top 100 TWC skill level. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, that 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 was a great tie. Two great maps in fourth place. Uh, let's move Indeed. on to the top three. Top three, let's uh, go! I just need to pull up the doc with the names on it <laughs> because I I'm, forgot. This is what we're all waiting for. This all is right. what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Here's the top three maps. So, in third place, we have. We go. Slash Tokyo it's Machine. Slash. Yes. And slash. this is mapped by Finn B. Finn B is who created this, and he is getting third place in round two of Slider Velocity Showdown. Let's check it out. All right, remember Finn what you said in. about no ordinary bar lines in the Froms map? Yes, yes. This, there is not yeah. a single ordinary bar line in this entire map outside of the like five seconds of PI, and when I realized that, it just blew my mind. Every single ball line serves a purpose in this map, and it's not to indicate the downbeats. Yes. Very, uh... And it, it's a long song, too. It's a hard song to be able to make interesting for the entire length. This is a good zero BPM section. 
it's it's really hard to make zero BPM work, but I think that this flows really well because it's such a simple pattern. This is one of two maps that I rated 10 for enjoyability because mm -hmm. I just kept coming back for more. Yeah, this one was very high in execution and enjoyability and got average scores in innovation. Like, it actually got four sevens in innovation. <laughs> That's really the only thing that stopped it from scoring even higher. Because the gimmicks aren't groundbreaking themselves, it's just the execution that's spotless. You got some bar lines. There's some memorization stuff going on. I don't know it's how you're supposed exactly to hit this. Well, the first time around it's just the bar lines are either Don's or Cat, but the second time around they're KD and then K for the second time. Oh, half. really? Huh. That's the idea behind it, yeah. Alright, I'm too dumb for Everything this map, man. <laughs> And if you want to get some points from me, just add some those to the <laughs> Yeah. That always gets me. Yeah, what, what set this map apart from the rest definitely was the uh, very clean usage of gimmicks, but also the map itself, the notes, uh, the note movement, and the patterns are just very uh, smooth. It's just a good map uh, with gimmicks on top of it, which is pretty much a shoe in But what if this was all finishes? Oh no. <laughs> Enjoy to be enjoyability goes to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Some classic. We got some classic uh, Donkama. And like always, this isn't pure memorization. It's just the same pattern. Yeah, the pattern is and it just all works so well with the song too. I don't usually judge the song choice, but everything just works so well with the song here. Mm -hmm. Gimmicks hit when the song is going <laughs> Amazing work. Scary music. What more can I say? Yeah, great. Just amazing work. Yeah, great work. Uh, Congratulations to Fimby for reaching third spot. Yes. And with that, we are going to be moving on to second place. Uh, with another, I don't want to say underdog, Ooh. but I don't think many people expected this. Um, we're going to be looking at Dark Sheep by Chroma. And this is mapped this by GT. So GT is getting second in SVS round two for his map, Dark Sheep. Let's check it out. Major props. Major props. Yes. I could not stop playing this map. Oh, whoops. I skipped the intro, but it's not it's not too long, don't worry. Yeah, this map was another really early entry, and I downloaded it, and I was like, damn, this contest is going to be good. <laughs> yeah. I was like... Is well, it... I should get it out of the way. Dark, um, Dark Sheep is such a, like, a staple of gimmick charting in rhythm games. Mm -hmm. um, let me tell you something. This lives up to that name. Yes. Yeah, the background is very hot. The 
this is the main gimmick of the map. The spinners being a KD-14. Yes. But every time they come <laughs> up, there's different SP to the spinners, which just adds so much in my opinion. There's so many little design choices that make this map as much as it could have been. Yeah, it's, a, it's so ballsy to use spinners in gimmick maps, but if you do it right, you know, it's a payoff. Just do not play this with score v2, you're gonna die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, do not attempt. This That's also a super clean section. Not as, I wouldn't say as, I don't know, it's a bit of a skill gap from a Cookie Trees map, but it's still a really cool gimmick. <laughs> I just love how the sliders kind of open up like curtains to reveal the low SP section. Yes. That was such a nice touch. And it just goes to show that you don't necessarily have to go all out with your innovation if you make your gimmicks that are known. Yeah. Work right. really well. Slider velocities are important. This is absolutely insane. I don't yeah. I don't think I need to say that, but I don't even know how you make this. It might not come across in screen, but the sliders are like speeding up and slowing down. How the fuck do you read this? I don't know, ask my- ask your <laughs> buddy Mew over here. You know how like, you look through a window with a screen in front of it? It's kind of <laughs> like that. Yeah. You, you kind of just have to unfocus your eyes. <laughs> you have to unload that part of your brain that no one- that no one uses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the gimmick part. <laughs> Every single human has been, like, locking that gimmick player pod for centuries. And we've got some pretty bar lines. Pretty bar lines. Arguably the hardest part of the map is right at the end here. Yeah. Because you're really, <laughs> aside from the power lines, you have no idea if you're hitting too slow or too fast or whatever. True, and as you can see, Mew's accuracy is kind of shit on yeah. this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Could have stepped sorry, up. I'll try harder. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Again, so. Yeah. Congratulations to GTE for getting second. Second and place. And also for making a gimmick map of Dark Sheep that actually lives <laughs> up to the high. True. And uh, did you want me to use, so for first, I, I have two replays. I have Tycho 1 and Tycho 2. Does either of them work? Um, I I submitted it twice by accident. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Swag, all right. And uh, yeah, first place, you might be unsurprised, the former okay. judge, Katacha, <laughs> wins slider velocity showdown no way. round two unrivaled. actually unrivaled actually the unrivaled of and i'm gonna tell you right now it wasn't even close <laughs> like okay so uh yeah this map got 25.4 points and second place got 23 <laughs> so it's a two almost two and a half point difference which is qu quite a bit uh compared to you know like third had what like 22.8 second had 23 and then first has 25 so uh without further ado let's let's check it out let's see let's see what kata did <laughs> have you ever wondered what a map would look like if you just wrap all of it into a slider because this is the result 
I mean, it's anticlimactic, but even for Kata, this is an impressive map. It's it's nothing I've seen before. Uh, and why this is impressive is normally when you have sliders like this, uh, you can't hit the notes after a certain amount of time. Uh, but somehow, I haven't figured it out. I don't know how he did it. Uh, but he's managed to make this be a continuous slider for the entire map. <laughs> for anyone who's missed it, by the way, the dons are indicated by the yellow slider ticks. Yeah, those are supposed to be big ticks, but my skin just makes them yellow. <laughs> and so, through this section, obviously, the cats are represented by the bar lines. Uh, that's pretty easy to see. The best part about this map is that you can just how red you want the slider to be at the start by mm. how many slider picks you hit when it's impossible to hit them. <laughs> and at first this map didn't really impress me, honestly. I thought it was pretty mid, but uh, as it goes on, it just introduces things that I didn't expect. <laughs> so this is kind of the same thing. We get some nice slider gimmicks, or bar line gimmicks. I, I really liked this section. <laughs> I mean, it just goes out to show, Kata is such a like staple in the uh, you know gimmick world, an absolute behemoth of gimmick mapping. Uh huh. Kind of unrivaled. Um, I hope he judges next contest. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll tell you what. This map got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. <laughs> Yeah, we got sliders on sliders. This part is what kind of blew me away. Jesus, man. How? Just... <laughs> man. How do you compete with this? Especially How do you not break it? Yes. How is this not broken, dude? <laughs> This should not work! This it, should literally not work! It should not work, but you know what? It did. Yeah, it's it's so fucked! It's so fucked, man. There we go. Cat, yeah, Kata, the only mapper that can just harness <laughs> the power of sliders to, yeah. to whatever extent. Fuck it. The game doesn't... The, the rules don't <laughs> exist anymore. Yeah, yeah. Kata <laughs> makes the rules. Fuck it. Yeah, so good job to oh, Katasha yeah. for getting first place. Uh, hopefully the badge is on your way. Uh, I'm, I have to work that out now because... Uh, show the last two places? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I, I Yeah, I can show them. Uh, so the last two places... So, I can show last place right now, just for fun, uh, but it's this one, the you future of the Taiko miss, drum. You didn't miss a whole lot, I'm afraid. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, this is a Kantan, it's four minutes long, and the audio is like 20% of the volume it's supposed to be. So, I'm inclined not to play it. Because you can just play it yourself uh, in the map pack, but we can we can go ahead and, and watch watch it since I, I'm not doing anything. But could you imagine if someone made a I want to say legit entry of the song? That there yeah, that would be insane. I was excited when I saw the song name, but then it was a like two star map. <laughs> I was like, oh. The best part of this map to me was the fact that one of the main gimmicks, if you can call them that, of the map happens long after the last object, so yeah. the map <laughs> ends before the gimmick even appears. Yeah, and uh, the the judges weren't so nice to this uh, to this entry, <laughs> but uh, yeah. I mean, an effort was made. Who knows? Maybe next as he is. 
Yeah, at least he made an entry, unlike half of the people that signed up. <laughs> <laughs> who's the real winner here? Yeah, right? who's the real winner? <laughs> uh, we got some bar lines. Oh. Oh, there we go. And all of the audio here is, I think it's just Camellia, but it's all in the left or right speaker. <laughs> I got it, Shay. Yeah, this is actually zeroth place. This is a organizer's favorite. <laughs> but I think everyone gave this one point. There are two one point scores for this one. Uh, I thought ISO Z gave it a zero. No, he gave it one. And I think that was in innovation, yeah. But it's not timed correctly either, if you couldn't tell. No, it's not. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Mew is uh, absolutely beasting on this map. <laughs> He's going crazy. All the years of practice finally paying off. He missed yeah, his rider there. Oh no, the there's, gimmick is we watched the whole thing. To be, there's supposed to be a gimmick at the end there, but you know. We can just take a look at it right now. Part. I'll take a look at it. So That's it. <laughs> let's see let's see what it would be. Let's see what it would be. There you go. Got it. <laughs> and uh this next map it's a shame. uh is the only map we didn't have a replay for. Uh, <laughs> and... It's down there, it's down there. Oh it's right. down there, it's down there, down there. Yeah. There we go. Here it is. So um Mew couldn't play this. Mew cannot play I this because he's a noob. I refuse to play that. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to just auto it in the editor. <laughs> I've been tested. Yeah, it's, it's New Game Plus. Yeah, That's this is a banger map. I mean, it's like, it's like all the frustration of the actual New Game Plus, but with none of the difficulty. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to show in the screen stuff. So yeah, also bottom right, we're getting 10 milliseconds of, of lag. <laughs> HP 10. And honestly, this entry would have placed a lot higher if... Uh, yeah, you guys will see. You guys will see right now. Where it is? Where are those notes coming from? <laughs> I mean, you just need the mapper instinct, I guess. Yeah, mapper instinct. Unfortunate. I don't know. It seems completely intentional because there's like zero BPM lines there, or a million BPM. I don't know. Either way, there's lines placed there. Yeah, infinite BPM notes uh, for those notes, but. Every judge was just so pissed off with that section that they like tanked the scores. The section is cool though. Always yeah. Considered. Yeah. Like yeah, I. It could have placed probably mid mid low if it uh, didn't have that one section. But uh, it's a learning yeah. experience, you know. Well. That's been SVS, the second round. Yes, it's only the second round. Yeah, so now that the third round is going to come someday, True. I'd say you guys could take a lot of, you know, inspiration from some of the ma oh, some of these maps. Yes, including this one, yeah. including the Kantan. <laughs> yes, the Kantan you can take some inspiration from. Uh, some. Oh no, no. 
No, we like oh, to yeah. play the maps. Was that a fail? I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> can you even uh, pass this? I don't... It's HP 10, right? I don't think you surely can with those, these spinners. They, or maybe it's V2. I think you can't pass this on V2 well, with all these spinners to, to at the fair, end. To be fair, we need to the mappers that if the man was genuinely unplayable that they choose, choose, you know, play it without her because that was the only way to charge it otherwise. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, well, that's all the maps. Uh, thank you guys yep. for coming around. Uh, I might hang out a little bit after to talk about the maps and do whatnot, but I'm going to be releasing the spreadsheet now, and the map pack is on the spreadsheet, so make sure to check the Discord server for that. And uh, yeah, that concludes uh, Slider Velocity Showdown Round 2, and we'll see you later this year, hopefully, for Round 3. Round 3! Round 3! Yay! Let's go. Okay, but again, I cannot stress this enough. Mm -hmm. Take inspiration. Take a lot of inspiration because this this iteration has been absolutely fucking insane in terms of quality and progress. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like people have like people came up with some real crazy shit. Yeah, and oh, I'm eating bagel. Sorry. Oh, also, <laughs> everyone, good luck trying to figure out what the fuck Kata did. Oh yeah, my uh, god. Let's take a look at that because I. Uh... Oh Christ. Where is it? Um, right here. I, I, I do gonna, not that's know. That's gonna blow your speakers out. Do not open it. No, me, what have you done? You. Oh my god. Careful, careful. Careful. Yeah. Be really but careful. Do not, do I'm not, not gonna play it. I'm not gonna play it. I'm not gonna... Okay, so there's one gigantic slide thing here, but then it ends. Yes. And then that's it. There's nothing anomalous in the entire map. It's just a normal map. So I, I, I do not know. Because even if you look at the OS file... Like, if I go to my monitor, which will have my webcam. Hey, guys. Uh, I, yeah, you can you can open the OS file and go to the notes, and it shows, where is it? That first note ends at uh, 6264, six, which is over here. It's all the way over here. It ends here. It ends right there. So how does... <laughs> I don't know. And then you play it and it's still there. And Otto can't play it, of course, but I actually have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Definitely. Uh, 6K reverse arrows? Oh. It might be, I don't know. It's something I've never seen done before. So where is it? So no, I think, isn't that just the, oh no, this is the length. This is the length of the actual slider body itself though, right? Or is this the repeats? But even if you did do a, a slider with 10 length and 6,000 repeats, that's still, what, 60,000? Which means it should end in 60 seconds into the song, right? So I don't even know if that theory makes sense, because if you have a, a length of 10 and a uh, repeats of 6,000, that's still only a minute of a slider, if, if that's how it worked. Unless it's broken. Oh, it's not in milliseconds? Oh, that's fucked up. All right. Maybe that's true. We can tinker around with it. We can figure this shit out right now. I think that's definitely what happened. Oh, 
Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, that is how he did it. But honestly, it's a it's it's a gimmick that you probably won't be able to put on any other map. It's such a weird thing. It's such a weird gimmick, but he made it work for this, just with all the other shit he did. Uh, but I don't know. Would this map have placed that high if, like, he didn't have that weird gimmick? But that's just a theory. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely the integration with the uh you know, H HTTP CSS port was definitely uh, optimized uh better for the song choice. Yeah, KKB. That's so good. We can get a. We can get a. Why can't I find anything? We can get a uh, replay on that map, huh? <laughs> oh, not in the editor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bring forth the praise for Elsa Cookie Tree. Yes. Uh, now I need to copy the link. All right. I don't know why I hard coded it into my head that Cookie Tree was just like a metal mapper or something. And when, at the end of the certain point, I was like, oh wait, he's an actual like, he can map other things as well. Oh god, fuck. Alright. Amazing. Amazing. Just so much creativity all like Very good. all around the board. We like it. Alright. Yeah, it looks like people are posting their maps. Yeah, feel free to upload. Uh, all the entrants can upload now. And uh, everything's everything's released and people will be getting their stuff soon. <laughs> well, what was your pe personal favorite? Hmm. Uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's very I'm hard. Isn't it? Nifty I'm hates curious. all maps. I really liked. Oh. Uh, I really yeah, liked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked turn A. Yeah. Yeah, I could tell from when you sent it to me. You were really <laughs> hyped about it. Yeah, I really liked were, the dark sheet. Really yeah. Cool. yeah. And turn you were really turn trying A was to, crazy. you know, shovel in the fact that. You know, this SBS <laughs> is gonna be fucking insane. I was like, are you sure about that? And I, actually, I got yeah. completely destroyed. Here's, here's the... <laughs> oh god! Here's this, you know what this is? This is that, uh... That thing. That That's what that is. That's crazy, god. isn't it? Isn't Dude. that crazy, man? Let's be mad for a square up. The new era is coming ahead. Yeah, it's literally just, uh... Where is it? It's just one BPM, but all of these sliders are uh, different lengths. So it's around, what, like 31, 146. So if you like look at, if you like look in the Dados, it's a, uh... oh my God. All right, 31, 146. Yeah, right here. This is the section uh, ending here and starting here <laughs> that's for that like 0.5 seconds of gimmick which is i I, th I definitely think that he made a program for this because it would be really easy to automate this just increment five on the last part and increment one on the second part but i think svs3 is definitely going to have the introduction of some programs. Uh, I know Cookie Tree was talking about programs, I think, 
Um, he was definitely talking about making some sort of guide that's better than the Kata guide because it's kind of difficult to read even after I translated it. Um, but I have heard of some people uh, developing programs for making gimmicks and for making stuff like that. But it would be so hard uh, to make stuff like that because it's it depends on the map, you know? I'm like, you don't always want to do this, but... Mm -hmm. It would it would also be super easy to automate this in like Java or something or Python probably Or Excel I used Excel uh, when I was making gimmick maps I would just split it because it's really easy to split based on character count And so you can kind of split it into different things and then do different operations to the lines Oh no, Axe is crying over these maps, man. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. We do be we do be making shit. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder who. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice to see uh uh things things like this where it's not like Aspire. <laughs> it's, I mean, Aspire was ruined, man. Aspire was so scuffed. <laughs> like most Mm. True, true. <laughs> yeah. That's fucked up. Fix your ears. Oh, I know why. Um, All right, you should also, be able to hear now. Um, huge thanks, like as I say, to all the judges who did a very wonderful job. Yeah. That they are on time, unlike me. I'm sorry, Hivey. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, good, just, sh good shit all like, around. Uh, very amazing, consistent work all around. Yeah, you it's, can... it's really nice that we got such a wide like spectrum of, you know, opinions for each one of the entries. There's yeah. a lot of variety. Like, yeah, no, if you look no at the scores, entry, yeah. <laughs> the scores no are kind of all entry, over the place. I, I believe that not a single entry will like leave this contest without some level of feedback, even like the Kata one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ISO C had some shit to say about the Katacha map. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did. He, he gave it a 14 out of 30. <laughs> I mean, preference. Wait, what? That's nice. Yeah. Oh, um, you know, preference. <laughs> he didn't like the, the patterns. It was very repetitive, and he hated that. Now, that was his whole thing, basically. And it's still a one by a landslide. Yeah, yeah. it's still. Well, everyone well, else gave it 28. I was literally talking about this. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about this with Nifty right before mm -hmm. we entered the voice chat. Like, it is absolutely baffling that even with, you know, ISOC's uh, juxtaposition in opinion. Juxtaposition. That True. <laughs> it still made it so high. Yeah. But this is more of a reason for every single one of you to strive to be as good as, if not to surpass Kaya, just end the reign before it you know, <laughs> continues. Honestly, Kata, I don't know. There were some ideas in lower ranked maps that are just a lot better than anything Kata had, but they're just so, so short lived that yeah, it, they didn't like sweep it away. I think, 
I think everyone everyone has potential. I think everyone has potential to be number uh, one. This contest. Map half's not working. All right. I gotta say that um, Kata's entry wasn't my personal favorite, but it was just so hard to fault it for innovation or execution mm -hmm. because there was nothing to criticize. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the SBS experience. Oh, you could showcase the SBS slider in the Mafalda map. Oh, true, oh, true, true. true, true. Uh, and then I gotta fix the map download pack. <laughs> Apparently it's uh, gone. Sadly, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna key. I'm gonna stay here for a minute to just to see the SBS slider yeah. reaction. But Fuck, I'm gonna have to it? leave in a bit because in about 30 minutes I have a Taiko World Cup match. True. All right. Oh, good luck on that. All right. This yeah. is the SBS slider. Well, I mean, you you say good luck, but I think Aaron's gonna need good luck against you guys. Jesus. We are we are forever Such grateful. Such a good slider. Such a shame that you cannot. You know, enjoy it in gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just now realizing it's a little off sync. It is it's a little not... bit off, yeah. Yeah. But hey, we don't make sliders. <laughs> we don't where is this Tyco You know, on. you know, blame blame Seth. Yeah. It's Seth's fault. Mm -hmm. Wait, was it Seth or was it uh attributed? That was Charles. No, I mean, no, no, not, I mean, the one who designed the SBS logo. Oh, that was me, yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Now I have to design the SBS2 badge. Yeah. I also got to design some stuff for uh, wiki posts, because we can make, like, archive wiki posts mm. for mm. contests. I don't want to do that. Yeah. With the amount of work that everyone has put into their entries, I wish I could just... You know, hack into the fucking mainframe and give everyone a badge. Everyone deserves it. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, I didn't stop.